top 3 ghosts trapped on video. Hello folks all over the world, fans of this series, of the world of the paranormal, also this week we want to report a video that instead of being scary, makes you smile even though it is clearly false. Yet, in several eastern parts of the world, it is acceptable to consider the appearance of spirits completely similar to humans to be realistic except for the coloring of the skin, this does nothing but facilitate the task for those who enjoy producing fake ghost videos. We have always tried to avoid this type of video, which does nothing but discredit a very delicate subject such as the paranormal, which as we have shown is a mysterious and still unexplored world. We immediately start our ranking with the third position for this week. Strange Presences in the Asylums In 1895 in Scotland, UK, a psychiatric hospital was opened in the village of Hartwood which included staff houses, gardens, a farm, a power plant, a reservoir, a railway line, a tuberculosis sanatorium, an infirmary, and a cemetery. The complex has seen numerous deaths over the years, due to multiple Escherichia coli and tuberculosis outbreaks, heart failure and epilepsy. Due to severe structural damage it was almost abandoned and a large part of the complex is in ruins, the buildings have no roof. On the Reddit forum, in the section dedicated to ghosts, a user named Random Doge 47 published a truly disturbing video in early May 2022. He wrote in the title as follows. Went to the Hartwood Insane Asylum in the UK and captured something peeking out of the top left window and moving away to the left side. The whole building is locked and the lower floor windows are far too high to reach and even if someone got inside, the whole upper floors are collapsed. Oh my god, somebody's head coming at the top of them. <gasps> oh, yeah. so it is. oh my god, I need to go. <laughs> I get that in video. I've just got that in video. <laughs> I can't. Ever since the girl's camera frames the window, what appears to be the head of a humanoid figure is seen in one of the tallest and most unreachable windows in the building. When the camera returns to the window, you can clearly see the figure moving from right to left of the window. The video looks quite genuine and scary since we are in broad daylight and there doesn't seem to be any evidence of tampering with the pixels. If we slow down the images with the zoom to the maximum, it almost seems that we first glimpse something demonic, then a silhouette of a woman and finally this brighter head on the right which is then seen walking from right to left in the following images. Suggestion, Periidolia Someone in the comments writes it could be a homeless man, or a drug addict. In reality, it will be impossible to access that floor by now. The place is explored by many investigators, it is really disturbing and full of dangers, but no one had ever managed to capture something truly mysterious. The Usual Quirks of the Biltmore Hotel The second video was shot in the world-famous Providence Biltmore Hotel in Rhode Island, USA. Opened in 1922 it has always been seen as one of the state's most exclusive options but though illustrious for its glorious construction, the hotel also has a dark history. Allegedly named, America's Most Haunted Hotel, in 2000 by the American Hotel and Lodging Association, there are too many ghostly rumors surrounding this place to cover them all. Local legend suggests that hotel ran as a satanic paradise complete with animal sacrifices, murders, and so much more. Others say that the hotel housed vibrant parties run by the mob during Prohibition, which Rhode Island rebelled against. During these parties it is believed that many murders occurred filling the hotel with ghosts of those slain inside. Posted on the YouTube channel titled Jack Stevens on June 4, 2013, the video shows a lone tourist named Jack who, disturbed by the numerous noises in room 1102, decides to grab his phone to film what was happening that night. Okay. <clears throat> Uh, making a video. I'm here at the Providence Biltmore Hotel. I'm in room 1102. I'm making this video because uh, it's like 2 in the morning right now. I've just been sitting here watching TV. And the door to my bathroom in this room has slammed two or three times in the last half an hour. So I don't know why it's doing that, but 
no one's going to believe me if I don't get it on video, so I'm going to go over there. I'm going to try to catch this happening on video. The last time it happened was like about six or seven minutes ago, and it's happening every six or seven minutes, so I'm hoping to catch it again right now. Okay, let's check it out. Ah. Alright, you can see that the bathroom is down there at the end of the hallway. Did you see that? I cannot believe I got that on. I cannot believe I got that. There is nobody in this room except for me. That is the freakiest thing ever. There's nobody back here. Alright, this video is going up on YouTube. Hopefully we can get some comments to figure out if anyone else has had any experience like this at the Biltmore in Providence. From facial expressions, tone of words, Jack seems sincere. Even from the video analysis there are no overlaps of frames or light distortions due to video editing. It is not the first time that we have seen videos about paranormal phenomena that occurred in this hotel, however there are some on the web that instead seems quite false like the following. Uh, every minute or two or so. So I'm gonna focus on the bathroom now and you guys will see the demonstration. Holy shit. Holy shit. So as we have seen, each case must be analyzed and attention must be paid to understand if we are facing an hoax or not. Of course, we don't know the truth about Jack either but the circumstances leave considerable doubts open, given this hotel's dark past. The Abandoned Hospital As we have seen in the course of our episodes, if there is a place full of suffering and death, it is usually the hospital. The video in place number one this week is not that obviously fake video that is running on the web, where you see a dark shadow in a hospital with totally human features and the shadow even has its own shadow, making it clear that of course it is a matter of a person dressed in black and that the video is one of the many hoax that circulate and that many famous paranormal channels around internet show you. We know our audience wants something more serious. In one of his live streaming broadcasts, Mexican investigator Ricky Velasquez aired this video on May 23, 2022, with a truly disturbing introduction where he explains that the investigation video we're about to see, dragged something back to his house that is terrifying he and his family. Hola amigos, saludos. Pues quería platicarles algo, yo sé que no nos hemos visto eh, en vivo, sé que no hemos estado muy conectados y todo. Por varios motivos, entre unos es ese video que, que acabo de subir. Este video fue un especial, un directo, una, una transmisión especial en un grupo privado en Facebook. Después de ese día, eh, mucha gente se pregunta, oye Ricky, ¿qué pasó? ¿Por qué ya no sales? ¿Qué, qué te ha sucedido? ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasa? Quiero que sepan que a raíz de ese video, de esos dos videos, porque en una noche hice dos transmisiones. Una fue aquí en YouTube y la otra fue en Facebook. Eh, lo paranormal es una, una cosa muy, muy, muy delicada. No me he podido componer, de hecho, este, han pasado cosas en mi casa, eh, han pasado cosas en mi salud, eh, 
me siento que estoy un poco mal, han desencadenado otras cosas que eso ya ha empezado a asustarme. Y no, porque por mis ganas y el gusto que le tengo a, a, a lo, todo esto de exploraciones y, y todo, es lo que me hace. Ustedes son los que me hacen seguir ahí y no, no retirarme o retirarme pronto, no lo sé. Pero quiero compartir contigo qué es lo que está con ustedes, perdón. ¿Qué es lo que está pasando? ¿Qué es lo que está pasando con, conmigo, con Ricky Velázquez? Uh, hay, hay cosas que voy a empezar a, también a subir, videos que, que tengo. Mm, les voy a dejar un fragmento de una madrugada que mi hija me levanta para asustada diciéndome que había un niño, un niño en, en, al pie de nuestra cama, porque ella duerme con nosotros. Eh, ella decía que veía un niño, que había un niño que tenía un plato. Ella me decía que traía un plato en la mano. Y de esas muchas otras cosas, pero todo viene siendo a raíz de este video. Ricky enters the abandoned Mexican hospital where most of the rooms are in ruins and many of the furniture is destroyed. He immediately senses someone's presence, so he decides to find a place to start the spirit box. Hola. Si hay algún ánima, espíritu, demonio en este lugar, toma la energía que necesites. No manches, ¿está hablando? ¿Cuál es tu nombre? No sé, me empezó a doler la cabeza. Las pulsadas horribles, no sé qué esté. Esto está bajando la temperatura del de, de, termómetro de Spirit Box. Esta actividad cañón en ese lugar. Me siento raro, eh. Toma la energía que necesites. ¿Te puedo ayudar en algo? No sé ustedes, me lo voy a mostrar algo y quiero que vean esto. Algo está pasando, no sé qué sea, empiezo a sudar mucho, no sé qué está pasando. Es frío el lugar, está demasiado frío, se, se empieza a sentir una cañón, una energía muy cañona que mi cuerpo me, me siento mal. Me siento mal, mal, mal. No, 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 While Ricky moves from the scene frightened by the continuous blows, from a low wall at the back of the room you can see the dark shadow with one arm visible, and immediately some followers of the live stream point out this strange figure resembles a small child. No sé cómo lo estén viendo, no sé si se está 
No sé qué le pasó a mi aparato, no sé qué esté pasando. Díganme ustedes si pueden ver bien. ¿Lo ven bien? Díganme que lo ven bien. A very bad experience that seems to have brought something sinister into Ricky's house, and we will follow the evolution of the story to find out if there have been repercussions in Ricky's family life or the matter has subsided. I invite you to see the whole video of the exploration of the place in Ricky Velasquez's YouTube channel because it is really interesting. Friends, also for tonight our episode ends here, if you like these contents leave a like, subscribe and share the video on your social networks to help us in our work. I thank you for watching and I'll meet you at the next video, good night.